Hey everybody, it's Indecidian, and welcome back to another speed draw. Um, so, I've, uh, uh, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I did it in October, and, like, so I drew for an entire month every day and recorded it and threw it on YouTube. So this kind of inspired me to do something I've been meaning to do for a little while which is do a uh, draw for a year challenge, draw every day. And uh, so uh, I figured, you know what, since we're starting kind of a new era in my channel, that it's time I made a new end card, and so that's what this video is. And it's kind of going to be the beginning of this draw for a year challenge. And... Yeah, so that's kind of what's going to be going on in my channel for next year. Don't worry, I'm still going to be doing some animations and stuff. And I think it's just about time that I kind of decided what my channel actually is. Because if you haven't noticed, I have a pretty random assortment of content on my channel. I've got short films, I've got animations, I've got a couple of Let's Plays, and just... Uh, I've just got so much random stuff that... The people who subscribe to me you just don't know really what to expect, and that's part of the reason I haven't been getting a lot of subscribers, combined with the fact that, you know, YouTube only put, uh, only caters to people who upload twice, uh, once a day at least, and so that's what I'm going for. I'm going for more regular uploads, and going to be uploading preferably every day, and we'll see what happens. I, uh... With this challenge, I do reserve. I do have a few ground rules, and that's going to be that you know some of this isn't going to be like full-on drawings, like super cool stuff. Some of the drawings aren't going to be very good, just because you know some days I'm not feeling it, and some of the times I'm not even going to do like a whole drawing. I'll just sketch for a little bit and kind of just play around and experiment. Not everything's going to be like a full masterpiece. I'm still going to get plenty of that stuff done. And also, if I do some animations and stuff, that still counts. I'll do some recordings of that. And I also reserve the right to, um, uh, to record drawings in advance if I can't, if I'm not going to be able to draw for a while and do, like, you know, family matters or whatever comes up in life. But, yeah. So... Basically, I've decided that my channel now is a drawing and animation channel. That's going to be the main focus of it. That's going to be pretty much all I upload. I may do some gaming stuff and other things if I really feel like it. But for the most part, that's going to be the main content of this channel. So, yeah. This is the, uh, kind of a new beginning. A clean start. I would, like start completely over from scratch, but there's a lot of stuff I have in my channel that I don't want to use, lose, which I'm proud of, and I just want to keep out there. So, yeah. And, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be talking on some of them. I'm going to try and get better to, you know, just making commentary and things like that, and uh, I won't be talking with all the videos, like, some will just be like the October ones where it's just music playing, and yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I'm watching this as I record, and you'll notice I drew the thumb in the wrong spot, and I'll come back and fix it later. It's just I wasn't really actually when I was doing this drawing, I wasn't expecting to uh, draw like full on hands, I was expecting to just do circles, and I did that one that's kind of resting there on my knee, and uh, it was, it looked kind of cool, so I decided to go with it, and on top of that, it's kind of leaning towards more what my art style has kind of become recently, which is kind of this more semi-realistic thing, because I found that my art style's weird, because I... I don't draw exaggerated enough to, for it to be really cartoony, but I also don't, exa but it's also too exaggerated to be realistic, and so it ends up in this weird limbo state, 
And that's another reason I'm doing this draw for a year challenge is just to improve the general look of my art and improve some stuff. Um, I know there's a couple people who are excited for FNAF The Opera. I don't know how many. Um, I'm going to try and do that. I've My interest on it has really been waning. I hate to admit that because I said I was going to do it and I announced it and I don't want to like go back on that and I do still kind of want to make it if nothing else I am going to get the first night of the first episode done if nothing else and I'm going to try and at least get the first episode done because I want to at least give something when I promised so much more but honestly Another thing is that I'm trying to just create content that I can make consistently and that I enjoy making and that other people enjoy watching. And, yeah. Um, so, also you may notice that this is some digital art that I'm doing right here. And I'm going to be doing some of that, but I'm also going to be doing some uh, traditional art, like the Inktober stuff. And... Um, it's going to just kind of go back and forth depending on what's available to me. The thing that's nice about uh, doing this is I don't have to get my whole recording sets set up and I can just like sit and watch cartoons and stuff and record my drawings from that. The, other, the problem is, is that my iPad's really finicky because it doesn't have a lot of storage space and for some reason video files are huge and they take up so much space on my iPad and so a lot of times it'll just stop recording for and not tell me and I'll like do a whole bunch of the drawing and then find that I lost the all the footage for it so yeah there's advantages to both traditional and digital art for me and even though I found that I've to be honest I'm a little bit better at traditional art just because my hand tends to be a lot more steady because I kind of rest on the friction of the paper versus this where it's a lot more loose and um, doesn't, there, there's really no friction on the iPad screen. Um, yeah. And now that I'm in a kind of better financial position, eventually I'm going to try and get a Toon Boom Harmony on my computer and start doing some stuff with that to try and get higher quality animations and stuff like that because currently the animation stuff I'm work tools I'm working with aren't super advanced like they're all great but I kind of need a one-stop shop for animation and that's a lot of what Toon Boom's going to be um but yeah I, uh, I'm really excited for this. I think it's going to be great. And I like my new little, I like the kind of slight alterations I've made to my, my little guy here. My little me. I don't know what to, but I mean, this is kind of just like a weird cartoony style drawing of me that's kind of reminiscent of old 20s cartoons and at the same time also reminiscent of you know like Jane's animations and the odd ones out I'm eventually going to try and branch this out into kind of my own style I'm going to try and kind of evolve this guy as it goes along but I don't know exactly what I want the art style to look like quite yet so I'm going to stick with what I've got for right now and kind of just let him grow naturally and so we'll see what happens with that Alright, well, that's all from me. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video, but until then, goodbye. For reals this time.